Hi, I'm Todd Dunn from CCTV. Making home improvements can be a rewarding process, often resulting in an increase in the value of your home. But before you begin any home improvement projects, you or your contractor need to make sure you apply for and receive the proper permits. During this video, you'll learn some of the steps you should take to pull a permit for any do-it-yourself project. And if you're not the DIY type, you'll learn how to hire a reputable contractor. The first step in getting a permit is to start with a helpful staff of the Charlotte County Building Department. There are many variables to determine which permits are necessary before work can begin on any project, and the knowledgeable staff at the Building Department will gladly walk you through the process. We do our best to try to help people up front at the counter. Uh, we've got information on our website to let people know what type of permits we have that's all listed, all the applications, um, storm shutters, and air conditioning and windows, doors, and the whole list. Ben Bailey is the Charlotte County building official. He says getting the proper permit for a work project is very important. A permit is authorization by your local building official to proceed with construction or any improvement on your house. It, it legitimizes uh, any work that you do there. And really what it does is protects you and also protects the community. Bailey says a lot of people like to do their own home renovations, but cautions residents to follow the correct guidelines when obtaining permits under the owner-builder category. The state of Florida says that you can be an owner-builder if you plan on using the home for your own personal use. You can't rent the home, you can't sell it within a 12-month period afterwards. And that's what um, needs to really get out to people. And we have an affidavit that when they come in there, they have to sign that indicating that if you do an owner-builder permit, these are the parameters that you have to work with them. Through conversations with the building department staff, you may be asked some basic questions, advised of any requirements, and if necessary, refer to other departments for their approval. Once you have all the information the building department requires, you will then submit an application for the building permit. This stage provides the building department with the documentation of the who, what, when, where, and how the proposed project. You will also be required to provide design plans for your proposed project. What that will do is basically put everybody on the same standard as far as construction and code. So you don't have somebody that's building a house of pallets and tarps right next door to you when you've just built a three-bedroom two bath ranch home made a block. Bailey says the scope and complexity of the project should determine how you have your plans designed. If you have something minor that's non-structural, you can actually design it yourself. If you have some interior walls, maybe a small kitchen remodel, that type of stuff, we would allow you to design. If it's something structural, we strongly encourage you to get a design professional as far as an architect or an engineer to do that. A code official will review the plans and determine if the project complies with the building codes. If the plans meet the requirements, a permit will be issued. As the project progresses, inspections are required to ensure construction is progressing according to the approved plan. Never cover anything up. We've run into situations where people have done that, and if we can't inspect it, then you'd be required to have either an architect or an engineer go out and verify that whatever was covered up was done according to code, which can add cost to it. So never cover anything up before it's inspected. Bailey says most home improvement projects do require a permit, and separate permits are typically required for electrical, plumbing, and heating and air conditioning jobs. Things we don't need a permit for typically is a small kitchen remodel. If you're not moving any of your electrical outlets and you're not moving any plumbing fixtures and you're just reinstalling cabinets, typically that does need a permit. Now if you are going to be moving your sink to another location, you're moving outlets, then that would entail getting a permit. Typically, you would not need a permit to replace flooring such as tile and carpet, for painting, or doing trim work. If you do hire somebody to do that stuff, even though it doesn't need a permit, they still need to be a licensed contractor, even though you might not need a permit for it. And there's a lot of people that think, well, if I don't need a permit, then I don't need to have a licensed contractor, which isn't the case. According to county ordinance, Anyone who provides a service or labor has to be licensed by the county or state. So if you're not the do-it-yourself type, you will have to hire a licensed contractor for the job. With plenty of choices to choose from, how can you be sure to hire a reputable contractor? 
Charlotte County Licensing Manager Aaron Mullen Travis has a few ideas. The best way of um, finding a contractor is not to rely upon Craigslist or um, some of these advertisements or people coming door to door. Uh, the best way is talk to your friends and neighbors, um, contact the Contractors Association, um, obtain more than one estimate. Mullen Travis has been the Charlotte County Licensing Manager since 1996. I've seen the best and I've seen the worst. It's her job to protect county residents by ensuring contractors who work with the county are properly licensed. In order to regulate contractors, you have to license them. If contractors are unregulated, uh, as in some of our um, you know, nearby jurisdictions, you can't regulate somebody who doesn't have a license. If they just hold the local business tax receipt as a handyman or something like that, that's an unregulated profession. You have no recourse against them if they do shoddy work or anything like that. If you have a contractor, we have, now we have some uh, abilities uh, to look at that contractor. She says contractors who are licensed to work in our county go through a criminal background check, provide a financial history disclosure, a credit report, and are properly insured. If you want to know if a contractor is in good standing in Charlotte County, Mullen Travis encourages citizens to call her office at 941-623-1007. That's area code 941-623-1007. You can also check online through our homepage by following the link to the building department. There, click on the link for building construction and then on licensing. From there, you can check for local or state issued licenses. Not enough people are checking. They're calling us after they've been victimized. And at that point, it's very hard to get somebody to come in who's unlicensed and they're out of Sarasota or Fort Myers or Highlands County and trying to get them to come back down here so I can issue them a ticket, okay? Um, they don't want to make that, they don't want to come down here because they know what's going to happen. It's important to do your own homework before hiring any licensed contractor, but Mullen Travis says her department tries to ensure that every contractor working in Charlotte County abide by all laws and ordinances. We vet the contractors as best as we can, um, and I can assure you when they, when we issue them the license, They've been vetted through um, my investigators and then it also comes to me and I personally review every license because that's my signature on their certificate. So I want to make sure that we are putting people out there that are competent. According to Florida Building Code, a job is not finished until it has received a final inspection conducted when all the work is finished. To help protect yourself, Mullen Travis says customers should hold back a percentage of the final payment until the project passes final inspection. When they're there and they're with that home, with, they're with that contractor, um, at that point they need to to talk to the contractor and say, "Listen, um, I want to withhold 10 percent, 20 percent until I know that this job is properly inspected." She offers a few additional red flags consumers should be aware of. Anything about the permitting, homeowner agrees to pull the permits, or I will reimburse you for the permits after, that, that all should be red flags to these homeowners. She also points out the state law requires contractors to display license numbers on all advertisements, invoices, proposals, and vehicles. Mullins Travis says if anyone is in doubt about a contractor, call her office. You can reach her by dialing area code 941-623-1007. That's 941-623-1007. General questions about the permitting process can be answered by calling area code 941-743-1201. That's 941-743-1201. Additional information and frequently asked questions can be answered on our county website. Go to www.charlottecountyfl.gov and follow the links to community development.